morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from. Well, today's the day. Today, we are going to take it to the fabricator to get the bed built for Grace. So, we can haul around that. It's gonna be a lot better than running around with behind me. But anyway, I am going to take it over and drop it off but first I gotta get rid of those so I got a place that I'm gonna be going over to today in Glasgow and um, see if they want to buy them it's a truck shop or if they know of anybody else I put it on what they call here in Montana Tradio you, I don't know y'all may know it or not but anyway that's what the day is going to be we are at the reservoir Fort Peck reservoir that big old thing back there Fort Peck it's got more shoreline than the West Coast believe it or not it's a big old thing it's a man-made reservoir I know that uh, cats gonna get into a little bit more of Fort Peck Reservoir and uh, we'll let you know how everything goes but anyway right now I got to go see ya okay a little ragdoll right now but that's all right I did get the um, fenders sold to a company here in Glasgow and my dad and I just got the first one off as you can see so not a bad job after being on there since 2018 they're a little tight they love to come undone going down the road but when you got to take them off holy crap but yeah kind of looks different well Still a good looking truck though. Right, I gotta get back to busy. I just got here to Bubba's dad's house and they got the fenders off the truck. Uh, oh boy, she looks naked without them. Um, and then one of the fenders was laying next to the smart car and I just noticed something really funny. Check this out. Fenders are roughly the same length as the smart car. Um, so we... Um, have somebody in town who wants to buy them from us. We just had to get them off the truck and we've got to take them back over. And Bubba's going to find a way to tie them down to the back of the truck. But I was laughing. I said, hey, you could just, just put them over the roof of the smart car. Tie them, strap them on like a deer. They'd fit. <laughs> mm. Looking naked. No bed on her now, just like how we got her. But Pitch is all moved to the rear and she's ready for the fabricator. So uh, Bubba's going to load up these um, fenders, get them over to the people who are going to buy them and then off she goes to the shop for a couple of weeks. Can't wait to see what she looks like when she's done. Hey, you didn't want this carpet, did you? Good 
All right, we're leaving her. Our girl, putting her in someone else's hands for the next possibly 10 days. Yeah, he should be done with it before then, but yeah. Yeah, so. We'll see what happens when it gets done. Mm -hmm. So the next time you guys see it, we'll have a flatbed on it. It's nothing now. So the next time you guys see it, Ooh, that's bright. It is a very bright day. <laughs> it's cloudy, but it's bright. <laughs> but it is, uh, what, Wednesday? It's Wednesday. And we are going to go pick up Grace. We got a call this morning, and the bed's done. So we're really excited. Can't wait to see how it looks. Let's see what it looks. A little nervous, because I haven't seen it. So I don't know what he's done. I've just kind of told him what I wanted done on it and how I wanted it done and uh, leave the rest up to him and from his reputation around here he's he's good yeah he's got a great reputation and yeah. it'll be nice to have grace back we've been camped here on the fort peck reservoir and waiting for the truck to get finished and it's been strange without it being parked here yeah <laughs> it's we're missing our girl <gasps> so so we are on our way to get her and um a little anxious. What anxious am I? There's two anxious as this is. He's anxious, nervous. Nervous, yes, I am a little nervous. He's anxious, excited, but he's more anxious, nervous. Now we got the bed made now. We've got to put chocks on it. I've got to uh, rhino line it. So there's still a little bit more to do, but at least it's. The major part's done now. Yeah. At least the backpack can sit up on the bed. <laughs> All right, let's go find out what it looks like. So next time you guys see it. All right, here it is. You ready for it? <laughs> we got her back. It's back. Check it out. Now mind you. All right, so remind you we have to do the rhino line and uh, chocks and everything so we got just a little bit longer yeah. with it put the d-ring tie downs yeah. and so there's a little more finished work to do but there's the bed and it looks great we're thrilled with it we are I'm, I'm happy with it yes he did a nice job and he was fast yep so we're gonna put the link to his business in the video description plus we'll get a shot of his sign here and everything with his contact info so if you're in the Northeast Montana area and you need metal work done, he's the guy to see. Chewy. And he came highly recommended and everybody in town we've talked to has had nothing but good things to say about him and we're certainly pleased. Yeah, um, I am pleased. So we're gonna get back, we got a little bit of work to do. All right, we'll catch y'all later. Yeah. Bed armor, that's what I got. It's, it's, I don't know, it's not as good as some people are going to say, you should have did this, you should have did that, but this is the texture. It's a little hard, but it's still a little rubbery too. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get done some. I think I'm going to go all the way down here. I think, I don't know. I'll see when I get there. I'll see you when I get there. Trying to get it covered with the uh, the rubber coating before it rusts because this is new new plate and there's no rust on it so there's a couple of pieces that do and it's not a bad rust it's just just surface stuff that can be wiped off and so it's not bad and what I got is what they had
like a little chick. Cheap, cheap, cheap. I don't know what this is gonna be like. So. It almost looks fine just painting it on, doesn't it? Now it's time for the next step in the bed assembly. We just got the wheel chocks and um, let me show them to you. Anyway, I don't know what we paid for these. No straps, just four of these for what you're seeing here. No hardware with them. That really bummed me out. For what we paid for it, we had to go and buy our own hardware. It's all right. It's all right. So we bought the chocks ready-made with the um, ratchets um, built into them. We bought them from RVH Lifestyles, and it was it was about five hundred dollars for the set of four. We already have our own wheel basket tie downs, so I know we got a little bit taken off the price because we already had our own tie downs because they normally come with them. So um, yeah, it was like for the tie down for the. Wheel chocks and shipping was like $520. Um, but it kept us from having to fabricate them ourselves. And uh, once they shipped, they got here in about four days. So that was good. And so now we're getting them placed on the bed so that we can figure out exactly where they need to be mounted for when we drive the car up the first time. So we've measured like 14 times. And I keep telling her, <laughs> you measure once and you cut three times. She won't fall for it. <laughs> so we want to get, if nothing else, we want to get that front um, wheel chalk mounted to give him something to push up against when he drives the car up for the first time. But we want to make sure it's mounted in the right spot so that there's enough room for the mirror to clear the fairings of the truck as he drives it up but yet keep it as close to the cab as we can get it. And then the other thing we're having to play with is the structure under the bed, the crossbars that support the bed, trying to get the chalk where we can bolt it down and straddle one of those rather than have to drill through one of them. And so that's causing us to have to play with it just a little bit. <laughs> is this the scary part? Yes, this is the scary part. <laughs> Good morning. How's it going, people? <laughs> I'm trying to do a job here and she wants to film. I gotta she, catch him when I can. She can film me as she's work as I'm working. Today we're gonna head over back to his dad's house. We had our ramps for the truck shipped there since we're out here boondocking. We couldn't very well have them delivered here. And so what we're gonna do is um, we got the first chalk wheel chalk set on the truck. And we're going to go over there today where we have access to the ramps and we can ramp the car up onto the bed for the first time and get the rest of the wheel chocks set and everything. Plus we have new airbags for the rear of the truck and they're on their way over there as well and they're supposed to be delivered today. So hopefully we can kill a whole bunch of birds with one stone today. Yep, we've got to get out of here. We're pushing our, our limit on where we're at, but we've already talked to the to the ranger dude and he said don't worry about it 
you guys ain't squatters <laughs> yeah so we've been we're going on day 16 and a 14 day oops boondocking area but the sheriff um he said that's fine until we get everything finished we're good so yep that was we don't want to wear out our welcome here though right so that is what the V's doing yep. i gotta i gotta take the freedom down yet so yeah he hung the flag on the truck the other day put the flagpole up there it looks awesome so we'll catch up with you when we get to his dad's house and continue showing what we're doing with the truck survived getting the car up there the first time yeah how was it it was uh it was a little different than uh loading a piece of equipment i'll guarantee you that <laughs> but it was good it was a couple more times doing it and i'll be all right um you can kind of smell the clutch a little bit burning or whatever the throw out bearing whatever it is i don't know what those things that run on rubber band or what i don't know <laughs> the hamster it's the hamster <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right we're done here we go first road trip with the smart car riding on grace <laughs> <laughs> 